What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, the stimulus package update, pretty much everything going on with our country here today, daily news, money, investing, the stock market. Uh, remember the new videos come on here on our channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. Remember those uh, stimulus checks going out to uh, the state of California residents uh, making under $75,000? Well, they're not going to be the only ones. I got some good news coming out here um, for some other residents, some other states. I'll get to that here in a moment. Um, there are the California state stimulus checks are still going out. There has been some delays, but California state stimulus checks are still going out literally on a week by week basis they're kind of going out in waves uh there's six hundred dollars per person for res california residents making under seventy five thousand dollars um the second round of this um for people making between thirty thousand and seventy five thousand dollars um round one was for people making under thirty thousand dollars round two is for people making between thirty thousand and seventy five thousand dollars are going out right now. And if you have children, you can get an additional $500 state stimulus check. It's called the Golden State Stimulus Program is going out right now. An additional $500 for a total of $1,100. I've also heard that they will send you an additional $500. Uh, if you were from the first round of $600, they will actually send you a $500 check for your children as well. Well, we have some other states now starting to. Um, announce state stimulus checks as well, which is really good news. Check this out. Uh, the state of Maine has just announced this as well. Uh, the state of Maine earning less than $75,000, the same exact amount, will soon be getting a $300 stimulus check. They're calling it a hazard pay check, which is interesting that they're calling it hazard pay. Uh, it's part of a $8.5 billion state budget agreement that was voted on in June. Check this out. As you can see here, starting November 1st, many Mainers will start to see $300 stimulus checks show up in the mail. It's part of an $8.5 billion state budget agreement voted on in June. And then again, they will be starting November 1st, which is a few weeks away. Mainers uh, making less than $75,000 per year, which is the same amount as the California state stimulus checks, or joint filers making less than $150,000, which is still $75,000 per person, will be getting the one-time hazard payments, which is basically a, another name for stimulus check, stimulus check, hazard payment, whatever you want to call it. Senate President Troy Jackson says he wishes it could be more, but this is a small way to say thank you to everyone who has worked throughout the pandemic. He says, quote, I don't think any of us can do enough for how much we appreciate the hard work that the people had to do and stay and still have to do right now. The legislature is trying to do something meaningful, meaningful and give back to the people, Jackson said. Jackson encourages folks to reach out to their local lawmaker if they have any questions. Yeah, so again, the state of Maine, uh, Mainers earning less than $75,000 will soon be getting checks of $300. It's part of an $8.5 billion stimulus payment to Mainers. So congratulations to the state of Maine. This now adds to the state of California. We've seen other states do this in the past. So yeah, another state now sending out stimulus money. Also, more information coming out here as well, that Arizona will be spending $36 million to help families pay utility bills as a moratorium on service cutoff expires. So Arizona will spend $36 million to help families pay utility bills. So we're, so we're starting to see a lot more of these kind of come uh, around as states are starting to now start to spend some of their stimulus money that they got from the third stimulus check uh, bill. 
Check this out. Arizona will provide $36 million in families to, to help families with utility bills. The Arizona Department of Economic Security announced on Friday. The team at the Arizona Department of Economic Security will continue to find new and innovative ways to help Arizonans lift themselves out of financial challenges, says Governor Doug Ducey said in the announcement. The announcement comes as a two-year moratorium on service cutoff expires, the Arizona Republic reported. The Arizona Republic reported that in June 19, an emergency rule passed by state regulators prevented utility companies from shutting off services for people who missed bills. The emergency rule came after a 72-year-old woman died after her power was shut off. So it's good to see more and more states launching programs like this, utility help, stimulus payments, state stimulus checks, and there's probably going to be a lot more of this as well in the future. As recent reports show that the vast majority of stimulus money from states, cities, and counties have still been unspent as state, cities, and counties have really not decided how to spend this, or a lot of them have already done their budgets, so they have to wait till the next budget to decide how to spend this, or they have to vote on it, depending on how each state, city, and county decides how to do this. So there will be a lot more of these coming around, hopefully in the form of stimulus checks to you guys directly. So I will keep you updated here on this channel, not only with just the large stimulus package on the federal level, but also state, cities, and counties, as um, we've also seen counties do stimulus checks as well. As an example, uh, last year in December, we had Orange County, Florida do $1,000 stimulus checks three different times, three different rounds um, in Orange County, Florida, they were first come, first served. This is just an example. We had multiple different counties across the United States do this. Um, Orange County, Florida, $1,000 stimulus checks. We also had um, Florida do $1,000 stimulus checks for teachers and first responders. We also seen this done in Texas and other different states. This is actually just recently um, in the last few months as um, multiple different states are deciding how to spend this stimulus money from the third stimulus check package. So there, all, there are still all sorts of different stimulus type programs going on from the third stimulus check package. And as they're now deciding how to do the fourth stimulus check package, um, there's all sorts of different programs that could be available and there's still money available from the third stimulus check package. So I'll keep you up to date on all these new programs as they become available and get announced. Now, on the other hand, not everybody wants to see stimulus help like this passed, like Republican Senator Ron Johnson, hoping for Democratic, what he calls gridlock on the next stimulus package. If you remember this guy, he was the guy who blocked the uh, proposal for $1,200 stimulus checks. He wanted uh, Republican Senator Josh Hawley and Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders, when they both proposed a $1,200 stimulus check, he blocked it on the, Senator, on the Senate floor saying that the American people didn't need an additional $1,200 stimulus check. We have families in need. There's no doubt about it. I completely support some kind of program targeted for small businesses so they can reemploy, so they can reopen, to restore capital. Their life savings have been wiped out. I have proposals. They've been ignored. So what I fear we're going to do with this bipartisan package and what this, the Senator from Missouri is talking about is the same thing, a shotgun approach. We will not have learned the lessons from our very hurried, very rushed, very massive earlier relief packages. We're going to just do, just do more of the same, another trillion dollars. It takes our debt from $27.4 trillion to $28.4 trillion in a couple months with doing virtually no revisions, no improvements. And certainly what the Senator from Missouri is uh, talking about in terms of these economic impact payments, no revisions at all. Just spend another $275 billion, send it out to 115 million households, when we are currently at about 9 million 
jobs less than we were in a record economy before the COVID recession. So for all those reasons, I not only object to what Senator Hawley is proposing here, but I'm certainly lodging my objection to what's barreling through here. The trains left the station on the package that's being negotiated right now that is way too big, that authorizes more money, even though we've got $600 billion is there just for repurposing, no new authorization uh, required. 52 Republicans supported it. But that's not good enough. We've got to throw another three to four hundred billion dollars on top, which is three to four hundred billion dollars more that we are mortgaging our children's future without reforms, without targeting. So, Mr. President, I object. So that is um, that's the kind of sentiment of a lot of Republicans. That was him objecting to Republican Senator Josh Hawley's proposal and Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders back in December when they both led the charge for twelve hundred dollar stimulus checks. They did eventually end up getting $600 stimulus checks to be included in the second stimulus check package. Well, now Republican Senator Ron Johnson is hoping for Democratic gridlock on the reconciliation package and is hoping that this next stimulus package also fails and doesn't get pack, uh, doesn't get passed. Here's what he has to say on this package. So there are reports today that Joe Manchin is saying, get all the climate uh, out of this bill, uh, all the climate uh, items. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I imagine, is not going to go for that. What are your thoughts in terms of a vote on October 31? Well, I hope for Democrat gridlock. You know, oftentimes in Washington, D.C., gridlock is the better alternative. But when it's Democrat gridlock, pray for it. Uh, I, I hope that's exactly what happens. Yeah. So just to give you an idea of the sentiment between the Republicans and the Democrats, um, remember, not a single Republican is going to vote yes for this next stimulus package. And um, remember that Republicans like Ron Johnson blocked the twelve hundred dollar stimulus pack or stimulus check that was a standalone bill. Um, they did eventually get these smaller $600 stimulus check to finally go through. And remember that uh, then former President Donald Trump um, tried to champion to make that $600 stimulus check larger to $2,000. It passed the House. And then Mitch McConnell, leader of the Republicans, single-handedly blocked it and didn't let it go to a vote in the Senate. Um, he didn't even let it go to a vote. And um, Republicans like uh, Josh Hawley um, probably would have passed it. They only would have needed 10 Republican votes along with all 50 Democrats to pass the $600 and the $1,400. This was before President Biden came into office. This was back in December. So we would have had $2,000 passed before Biden even came into office. And Mitch McConnell just completely blocked the bill, even though his own president, a Republican president, former President Donald Trump, said the $600 stimulus check should be more. Mitch McConnell didn't even let it go to a vote. And that probably or almost surely cost him the Senate uh, as just a few days later, the two Senate runoff races seats by the slimmest of margins went to Democrats and a lot of people said that they voted for Democrats because of Mitch McConnell's blocking that bill when a Republican president was calling for those checks. So, yeah, that's kind of the sentiment between the difference between what Republicans want and what Democrats want right now. You can let me know your thoughts on them in the comments. And now the Democrats control the Senate. Uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is telling the Democrats to find a common ground on Biden's social bill so that they can pass this before the end of the month. Um, they're trying to have a deadline here by um, the end of the month before October 31st to pass the stimulus package. Um, and they have to find common ground to find a both a number on the stimulus package somewhere in the middle $2 trillion range, as well as an agreement on everything in the bill so they can pass the bill. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer writes, as with any bill of such historic proportions, not every member will get everything he or she wants. 
Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer wrote in a bill to party members or in a, in a letter to party members. Schumer warned Democrats to put aside our differences in order to reach consensus. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi spurred decision making before the self-imposed October 31st deadline for passage, uh, the Asso Associated Press reported. Progressive leaders in their own letter to Pelosi, Biden, and Schumer argued that the package should not simply be narrowed as centrist lawmakers prefer, but instead kept as Biden's bigger vision, but for fewer than 10 years, shorter transformative investments that could be started quickly and then revisited later. Much has been made in recent weeks about the compromises necessary to enact this transformative agenda, wrote Representative Pramila Jayapal, the leader of the 96-member Progressive Caucus, in their letter. Quote, we have been told that we can either adequately fund a small number of investments or legislate broadly, but only make a shallow short-term impact which they could renew later on down the road. We would argue that this is a false choice. Republicans are dead set against this package, so Biden and his party are left to deliberate amongst themselves with all eyes still on two key holdouts. You know them, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Dun, dun, dun. Whose votes are crucial in the evenly divided Senate. But that it leads to two tough questions. Should Biden keep the sweep of his proposals, free child care, child care, community college, dental, vision, and hearing aid benefit for seniors, or scale back to a few key health and education programs that could be more permanent? Yeah, so this is where a lot of the negotiations are going to come down to is like things like Medicare, hearing, dental, vision, hearing aids. Um, for seniors, as well as lowering the Medicare eligibility age, um, and for how long they can fund these programs, um, as well as, you know, can they cut the programs for only a certain amount of years? Um, two years of free community college, that's on the chopping block. Honestly, every single thing is on the chopping block. The child tax credit payments, which is so vital to 65 million children, those monthly payments of 250 to 300 dollars per month, 3,000 to 3,600 dollars per year, that's on the chopping block as well. They wanted to originally extend it till 2025, which would have been four more years. Uh, now they're not sure if they can do that. They're talking about maybe extending it till 2022, 23, 24, um, or who knows what they're going to do. Everything is up in the air as well right now. Um, because um, really just honestly, not a single thing is safe right now in this package as um, they're really just, they have people that have a problem with every single thing in the package and they're just kind of negotiating right now for everything. So the question is, is are they going to remove some things entirely? Are they going to cut the amount of years that programs are funded for? And that is kind of the big discussion right now. And then we have Senator Joe Manchin basically saying to just remove some things completely, um, which they apparently may have done now with one of the climate provisions, which is um, for clean emissions electricity. Um, they may have just removed that completely, um, which he said, I kind of agree with this if he doesn't have ulterior motives, which knowing Joe Manchin, he probably does, is that they're moving towards... Um, clean electricity emissions anyways, the industry is already pretty much working towards that. So why pay them? Why give them billions of dollars in tax credits when the industry is already moving that way anyway? So I do agree with him kind of um, on that principle, but um, it's hard to know where his um, allegiance lies. West Virginia does have like a kind of a lot of coal plants and stuff like that. So if he's trying to protect the state, I get that. That makes sense. Um, but Joe Manchin kind of, you know, he, he, sne he seems like a kind of sneaky kind of guy that has his, uh, you know, his hands in a lot of pockets and stuff like that. So it's really hard to know, um, you know, if, if he's dealing with, you know, he, he's also involved with natural gas and a lot of things like that. Um, he's, um, 
he's involved with the energy energy industry a lot. So um, it's hard to really know where his motives really lie. Um, and honestly, it's hard to really know if he's going to ultimately vote yes on this package, as well as Kirsten Cinema. A lot of people think, including the Arizona governor, that Kirsten Cinema is going to ultimately vote yes for this package and vote and, and what they call fold and vote for this package. I don't really think it's folding and voting yes for your own party's package. Um, I think negotiating and going through the whole motion of, yeah, I agree with this. No, I don't agree with this. Or, hey, let's negotiate. Um, that's what I would do if I was a senator. I would negotiate on, yeah, I agree with this. No, I don't really agree with that. Um, that's what I would do. But um, I would go through each detail of the package. But, um, you know, we're going to really have a lot of details here in this, in this upcoming week. So let me know your thoughts um, on everything. I will keep you up to date here. Remember, new videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as they move to finalize this bill here uh, before the end of the month. So uh, make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. I will keep you up to date. Hopefully they can pass this bill here this week or before the end of the month. So yeah, you can click here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.